in our body, so you feel your arms at your sides, and they're heavy on the carriage, and your fingertips are reaching towards the spring. And you're gonna exhale all the air out, so we're starting on empty. And now you're gonna breathe into the back ribs as you breathe in. You're gonna feel your ribs pressing into the rib, into the mat, into the carriage behind you. Open up those ribs so you feel the pressure, and exhale slowly, five, four, three, two, completely exhale out all the air. Inhale through the sides of your ribs, expanding wide. And exhale, six, five, you want to move back so your shoulders are touching the shoulder rest. You have to be touching the shoulder. You have to lightly hold, so and now if your knees are too far away, then you've got to pull too far in. And one more time, inhale, and exhale front ribs. And exhale, seven, six, five, <coughs> four, three, two, one. And last time, breathing in, the front, the side, and the back. So full expansion of your rib cage. And exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, completely exhale out all the air one. Squeeze it out. Now you're gonna add pelvic tilts. So very calm, take an inhale and just gently tip your pelvis towards you, feel your tailbone float off the carriage. And now go the opposite direction, rock forward and feel your tailbone press down and your low back float up. And continue as you rock back, tailbone falls up and gently rock forward and arch. And keep going, just rock back using your low abdominals. And so we don't want to use our leg muscles, so that's why the circle's over your legs. As you're rocking back and forth, keep the leg muscles quiet. And rocking back, and rocking forward, and end in your neutral. Hold the neutral, and now put the circle between your knees. Good. And hold your pelvis in neutral. Good. Take a nice in inhale. And as you exhale, gently tweeze the circle to parallel. So it's a light tweeze of the circle, bringing hips, knees, and feet to parallel. And slowly release and open. Let's keep this one here. And exhale, tweeze so if it bothers you. You can put it a little bit more towards this part of your knees, so it's less bothersome. Exhale, tweeze again without letting your waist change length. And slowly release. And exhale, tweeze the circle a third time. And slowly. So you want to feel that tweeze from your inner thighs all the way to your sit bones. And exhale, tweeze one more time. Pause, hold this one. And little pulses. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. And slowly open. And now put the circle over the knees on the outside. And now press the up, and now you're going to gently press the knees apart. Keep your tailbone down. As you press the thighs apart, feel the outsides of your legs. Yes, 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 just like that. Hi, Mara. Hi. I saw you out the window. Uh, I said, I did you come to class because I didn't see something. I just, uh, That's just okay. did it. And I just saw you out the window. I was like, oh, no, she's coming up. Uh-huh. And slow release. And press the thighs apart and hold. Hold, hold, and slow release. One more time. And right press, and hold, 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 and slow release. Great. Now take the circle in your hands, elbows down next to your ribs, and move your feet a little further apart. Elbows are close to your ribs, thumbs on the outside. So you're just stabilizing your circle and your shoulders. Now you're going to tip your knees to your right, and you're going to reach your right knee away on the diagonal, and you almost lightly push through your left heel so you feel that stretch open of your right hip. But your head in your circle and your left shoulder blade have to stay on the carriage. So see how that came off? Put it down. Get it down. Nope, this stays here. Bring this down on the carriage so the legs can't go so far. And exhale, roll back to center. So you can only go as far as you keep the upper body stable. And now you tip to the other side, keep the right shoulder blade down, 
And that's why you have the circle to help you, see? Feel that? And exhale, slowly come back. So we're using low jabs. And tip again to the right, reach the right knee, right, or left knee, left hip, sorry. But this stays down. And exhale, return to center. And tip to the left. So your right knee reaches away. Reach the right hip away. So reach, reach, reach. So feel that diagonal line. Yeah, see like that? But this stays down. Yeah. Squish on my fingers. Get on that left off my fingers. Yeah. And slowly come back. So that's the point of the circle. All right, now we're going to bring your feet together. Stretch your arms up in the air. Now we're gonna do a couple of these. So you're holding the circle between your palms. I want everybody to reach the circle to the ceiling, feel your shoulder blades come off the carriage. Now retract and put your shoulder blades on the carriage. Lift the shoulder blades up and off. Notice you're stretching and pull them back down, contract. And lift up and off and down and contract. And up and off and down, and now keep them on the carriage and tweeze the circle. One, and slow release. Exhale, press two, and release. Exhale, press three, and release. Exhale, press four, and release. Good, now we're gonna hold the circle, grip it with your hand. Bend your elbow a little and contract between your shoulders. Pull out and release. So it's a light hold and a light pull. So you're pulling, not pushing. So hold the circle and pull. Yeah. So where do you want to feel this? Under and between the shoulder blades. Last two and last one. Now you're going to bring the circle forward against your thighs, and you're going to put your hands on the opposite side, one hand over the other. Perfect. Shoulder blades back on the carriage. Good. That's excellent. And now your shoulders stay, and as you lightly press on the circle, feel your waist getting longer. You feel that stretch in your waist, in your spine, and release. So just think about what I'm saying. As you lightly press, it's like you're pressing your pelvis away from your rib cage, creating length in your spine. And release your change hands on top. That is what you literally are doing. As you lightly press, this is a tractioning, a self-tractioning technique. And release, so I like this, this circle closer to the pelvis so you feel that one. And because if it's up here, you feel your knees more. Yeah. And press, and lengthen. Good, ready the last? Bit is put the circle opposite your nose on the back of your head. Your hands are opposite over your forehead, palms to the ceiling. So you're lying down like that. Now you're going to start by nodding your chin. Your head stays back on the carriage. You're going to take an inhale and now look towards your pubic bone and you're going to peel up head, neck, and shoulders. You're gazing towards your pubic bone. Pause. Breathe in and slowly roll the spine back down. Again, inhale, nod your chin, and peel up, head, neck, and come to the tips of the shoulder blades. Breathe in, and slowly return back down. This is the last one coming up. I know your arms are getting tired. Nod your chin, and peeling up. Beautiful, excellent. Breathe in, last time. And vertebra by vertebra, slowly lower down. Now put your circle off to the side on the floor. Excellent day. And let's keep your heels on the foot bar. Arms at your sides. Just like that. So shoulders are stable. Now your heels are resting on the foot bar. You're going to flex and point your feet. Flex, point, flex, point, flex. So your feet are about a fist apart. Okay? So Bring your feet that you feel my hands closer. Yeah. And that's where you're flexing and pointing your feet like that. All right, now when everybody finish with your feet flexed, feel like the front end of your, yep, I see the bottoms of your feet. You're pushing on your heels. Now keep your feet like that and push the carriage out. And you're standing up with feet flexed. Up, oh, stay there. Don't come out of it. So you're standing up there, everybody stay at the top. Let me see you're standing at attention. You're starting with straight legs. So feel like you're 
trying to pull your sit bones towards each other. Feel active in, in your base of your glutes. And here we go. Bend the knees, pull the carriage in, and press out. Eight times. One. Nice. Good line. And pressing out two. Bend and stretch three. Bend. Are you a little quicker here? And four. Yeah, this one says, there you go. And five. Good. And try to move slowly so you feel it. Six. Each time. And seven. On the eighth one, I want everybody to push up and now press down through your heels. I want you to grow an inch longer in your waist by pressing deeper into your heels. Shoulders back. Now bend your knees, keep those feet flexed, and pulse. Accent up towards your back of the room. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and finally push the carriage back. So again, the reason we're flexing our feet is to work the muscles on the fronts of the shins. Now hold that and pivot open to Pilates V and bring your heels until you feel you're squeezing together at the center. So get your heel up a little bit more. There you go. And bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Eight times. Bend and stretch. So your knees are shoulder width when you're bending. Three. Good. Bend and stretch. Four. Keeping that narrowness, and five. A little bit more here. And six. So follow your second toe with your knee. There you go. All right, and finish your next one at the top, and feel, yep, stay there. Feel your heels, your calves, your inner thighs, your sit bones, zip together. And now, unzip, bend to a Pilates V, and pulse. Exit up. Now as you're pulsing, Press the heels together, four, so you feel it more. Yeah, like that. You feel it just by pressing your heels together. You feel your inner thighs more, yeah? Don't you notice that? And finally, press all the way up. Zip up to your sit bones. And bend the knees, bring the carriage in. Take your knee and move it further apart. So you should see your heels inside the frame of your knees. So when you move your knees apart, look down. Can you see your heels? Then you know you're okay. Press the carriage back, stretch up tall, stay there for a moment. Hold your feet in parallel. Feel like you're bringing your heels towards each other. Plant those feet in your V. And now bend and stretch. So you're directing your knees over your second toe. Bend and stretch two. Bend and stretch three, that's it. And four, keeping the waist nice and long, five. And six. So every time you stretch the legs straight, seven, feel like you're pulling the heels towards each other. Whoops, we're turned out still. Somehow you got turned in. I'm not sure how that happened. We're still turned out. Yep. All right, now finish at the top. Stay there with straight legs. Stay. Feel like you're pulling your heel. Stay. Just pull into my fingers with your feet. Don't change anything. Just pull, pull, pull. There. And now bend the knees wide over that second toe. Pause and pulse. Exit up, up, three. So the range, four, is easy. We're bending our hip, our knee, our ankle joints. Our feet are still. And finally, press all the way up to the top again. Stretch tall. Best posture, shoulders back. And bend the knees, come back in. Take your feet together at the middle of the foot bar, parallel. Now roll down, so uh, move down, so you're wrapping the balls of the feet like a bird. Grip the foot bar with your feet. Contract your arches. Wrap your toes on the foot bar, literally. Heels down, wrap your toes. Don't let me break your toes. And push the carriage out. And exhale in. So can you wrap those toes more? Try to bend them. Inhale out, down. So they would wrap them on it. Exhale, try, yeah, like that. Hurts, right? A little bit. Inhale because you're not used to doing it. And exhale, pull in. So you need to do this. Get those toes on here. You're young. You have no excuse. Inhale out. <laughs> exhale in. It's all about age. Inhale out. Exhale in. So wrap those. So one more time. Exhale, pull back in. All right. So if you work it, remember this. Motion is lotion. If you use it, you won't lose it. Turn out your knees and feet to Pilates V. That's a good one. It is good. I learned it from a student I taught last weekend. So your feet are in Pilates V. You're on the balls of the feet. Now your toes are not gripping anymore. 
Now push the carriage back, squeeze your heels. Calves, inner thighs, stop at the top. Everybody lift your heels a little bit more. You should be able to, listen guys, you've got to bend your toes on the ball of the foot. And exhale, bend back in. So your feet should not, your toes should be flat anymore. Inhale up. Exhale, bend in. So lift the heels a little higher and don't press the toes down. Inhale out. Exhale, bend. So your toes need to be flexible. Inhale up. That's how you walk. Otherwise, you can kick your feet up in front of you. You don't have to bend your toes when you walk, guys, right? Inhale up. Exhale in. Inhale up. So when you get to the top, squeeze together. Squeeze. All right, the next one, stay at the top, squeeze. Stop. Now your legs stay exactly the way they are. Just the heels. Lower slowly down, keep them together, press them back up. That's all, eight times. Lower, lift, keep the knees straight. Lower the heels, lift the heel. So it's the whole back of the leg lowers with the heel. When you lower the heel, you're lowering the back of the leg as well. Think about it. Lower, and when you lift, you gotta bend your toes, lift up. Lower, lift, bend those toes, you're not bending your toes. Which way? Just, they just gotta, they just stay. The toes stay, the foot moves. So think about it. So when you're lifting up, that's bending the toes. And now, yes, and hold it, stay there. Now try to go a little higher. Yes, see how your toes are, yeah? Uh -huh. All right, now rotate to parallel. Now in parallel, you'll feel better. Lift the heels even a little higher. Yeah, see how you're bending the uh -huh. And bend your knees, everybody, now come back in. So everybody, we're going to test something. Get the balls of the feet on the foot bar. Push the carriage back a couple inches. Stop, just a couple inches. Now, hold the carriage still. Raise your heels up. Your knees are bent. Lower your heels down. Both heels. Bend the knees in. So listen. And heels go up. Heels go down without moving the carriage. Up and down. You see how you're bending your toes when you lift your heels up? You should be. And down. So that's what you gotta work on. Lift your heels up without bending. Yep. Lower down. See that's bending your toes. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So you're trying to lift the heels up and down without involving your toes. Now, halfway between high and low, that's where you're gonna stay now. And now push the carriage out. Everybody feel your connection at the back of your gluteal fold and bend back in. And press out, feel from the heel to your glutes, and bend back in. And press out, and bend back in. So hold those heels steady, and press out, and pull in. So it's a press and a pull. Press and pull. Move smoothly out, and try to track your knees in line with your hip and your foot. So your knees shouldn't be wandering around. Good, now we're gonna press out to the top and stop. Everybody lower your heels down. Bend your knees, bring the carriage all the way in. Hold the carriage still, raise your heels up. Push the carriage out as far as you can. Lower your heels down, bend your knees in. Raise your heels up, press out. Lower down, bend in. Lift the heels, push out. Down, in. Heels up, push out, stop, and now reverse it. Bend your knees first, high heels, push your heels down, push the carriage out, your heels go under the foot bar, and then press up. Bend your knees, high heels, push the heels down, press back, lift up. Bend your knees, press the heels down, push the carriage out, lift up. That's it. Bend the knees, heels go down, Press out, lift up. Now everybody, press the carriage out and keep your legs straight. You have your heels both lifted. Now try to lower lift your heels 10 times without bending your knees. Down, up, two, up. So as you lower the heels, get taller. As the heels go down, feel like you're being pulled up. Lower and lift five, counting backwards, four, Try not to grip the toes. Three, feel those calves yet? Two, yes, this is what you need to be working on. One, and bend the knees, come back in. 
Now we're going to do what we call running. Don't worry about going anywhere. Lift your heels up, push the carriage out. Now you're going to bend your right knee as you lower your left heel. Now you're going to push up and switch. Bend your left knee, lower your right heel. And now you continue to do that as you're switching legs up and down, up and down. This is called running in place. Now what I want you to think about as you're doing this running is putting the weight in the front leg. It's the bending knee. So you're putting the weight into your front foot, front and front, like you're climbing a ladder. Good. And eight and seven, six, five, four. Keep the pelvis stable. No wiggly wiggly, no runway walking. Two, one, lift up nice and tall. Push the foot bar away, push it away, push it away. Shoulders back. Lower your heels down. And that's it. Now you get the well-deserved stretch. And now bend your knees and come back down. Okay, that's called footwork for a reason. All right, so pick your feet off the foot bar. Make some circles with your ankles because we did a lot of work on your feet. Now we're going to roll forward, so roll your head up, kiss your knees, and rock forward. Change your springs. Yep, so try to rock forward. If you need to bring your legs off to the side, fine. Red is basic. If you have any injuries, use one red. Red high is medium, so put red up on the high button. If you're strong, red plus yellow. Low, red plus yellow. Okay? Yeah, just do red. If you're not sure, just red. If you're not sure, just red. All right, I can always increase it. So lay back down. Now try not to do the furniture walk as you're rolling up and down. Take your short straps in your hands. Yep. Once you put those small loops on your hands, raise your arms straight up like two flying poles. Stick in the air, and you're going to press a little bit, a few inches, into the straps so they're over under your chin level. Now, once your arms are stiff and straight, take your feet to tabletop. Press one, and arms are stiff and straight. So you're going to bring those arms over your armpits, under your chin. Take an inhale. And slowly press your arms forward to the pulley level. Stop for a moment. Press through the straps. Keep the shoulder blades back on the carriage. Abdominals engaged. And slowly raise your arms up. And slowly press down two. And slowly resist up. Keep the arms and fingers strong. Three. Your fingers should not be soft. And lowering four. And five. On the sixth one, you're going to hold your arms at the level of your rib cage. So the straps are above the shoulder rest. Shoulder blades back on the carriage. Now bend your elbows to a 90 degree angle. Notice 90, hug at your sides and press forward. So imagine you're hugging sponges in your armpits as you bend and stretch. Bend and stretch three. Bend your elbows and stretch. So you're working the bicep and the tricep at the same time. Four. Bend and stretch. Five. Hug those armpits. Six. Two more. Slower as you bend and stretch. Last one. Finish the arms nice and straight. Now take the whole arm and rotate so the palms face in. So now your hands are facing into your sides and slowly open out like a superhero. Opening a cape and pulling in. As you open and close, slowly you're spreading an imaginary cape out and in. Open and close, three. Meanwhile, you're zipping up and holding those legs in the tabletop, four, like you have a martini game or a cup of coffee on your shins. Depends on what you're into. And hold the arms <laughs> to your sides. Stop there. We're going to go sideways triceps. Everybody first. Activate between the shoulder blades. Roll the shoulders back. No, your arms are here at your sides. Just pull them in. And now side bend. So you're gonna, when you bend sideways, you look like a little bird. Bend and stretch. So elbows stay. That's it. Yep. So that rotation is coming from the shoulder. If you feel between your shoulder blades, the muscles contracting a little to hold your shoulder blades in place. Feel that? Yep. Then you're doing a good job. So you want to feel between the shoulder blades as you're doing this. All right, so that sets the shoulders in place. And now finish the arms straight again, turn the palms down, lift the arms back to the ceiling. Move your arms out to a V. 
Take a moment, place your feet on the foot bar just for a second. Make sure you feel good. Engage your abdominals, bring your arms just a little bit higher. There you go. Now bring your feet back up, and now you hold your arms still. Right there, you're going to make little circles with your arms. So as you're pressing into the stretch, you're going to feel your armpits working, your ribs working tiny little circles up to the corners of the ceiling. So they're not big circles. The circle's no bigger than a saucer. Saucer size. Do you know what a saucer is? Tea and coffee. You know, a little saucer, small. Elbow straight, stiff. So when you bend your elbow, it means you're not using your shoulders. So think about it. Lock your elbow straight. Straight. And go the other way if you haven't changed directions. Straight elbow. Straight. Imagine you have paper towel tubes over your elbows. See how you're bending your elbows? This is called bending. That's called bending. We want to keep them straight. Huh? Yes, it's hard. <laughs> All right, now hold the arms up. Take a rest again, put your feet on the foot bar because that was hard for a second. Those are actually very challenging. All right, now we're gonna do arm pulls all the way down. So arms up again, lift your feet again. Pull those straight arms down on the diagonal and back up to the corners of the ceiling. So pull all the way down until you feel it next to your hips and rib cage and back up to the corners. And pull down on the diagonal and up to the corners of the ceiling. There. Down. Up. So it's, a, so it's not here, it's not here, it's in between. Now hold the arm down at the side. Make a fist. Grip the strap. Palm faces in. So you want to have the arm above, yeah, in line with the top of the shoulder rest. Make little tiny circles. Straight elbow. Imagine you have a paper towel tube over your elbows. You cannot bend your elbows. You can't bend your elbows. Keep your arm straight. Work that arm. See how you're bending your elbows? Try hard. Focus. Lock your elbows straight. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Yes. That's getting better. Last two. Last one. Everybody lift your arms up to the ceiling. Put your straps down for a second. Yeah, put them on the bed. Keep your arm. We're going to 